In this video, guys, I'm going to show you one of my best institutional reference point that is the breaker block and i'm going to show you how to practically use it for thread entry i've been using this strategy for a while and i've mastered how this thing works i literally could take threads with it almost every day so let me show you how to use the breaker block literally if you don't know what a breaker block is i'm going to show you and then we will go to our chat and you will see how a breaker block plays out on a live chat so let me start by sketching and defining what a breaker block is now if you are conversant with the smart money concept and ICT concept, you will know that a breaker block is simply an order block that has been violated. We have two types of breaker blocks. We have the bullish breaker block and the bearish breaker block. I'm going to start by sketching a bearish breaker block right here. Now, assuming you have a chart that is moving upside like this, then you have a retracement. And then the next move pushes above the last high that was created. It has broken above this level. Now, before pushing up to that side, we have an order block that was created here. What is an order block? An order block is simply the last bearish candle that price printed before pushing up. This time around, a bullish order block. Okay. So if this is our order block, and then we are expecting price to come back to this level. Okay. And then react around this level before going up again that is to see price pushing up again because normally if you're trading with an order block this time around a bullish order block you want to see price react around this level then push up again but this time around price did not respect this bullish order block it simply pushed down okay like this then came back and retest it around this level before pushing down so this is no longer a bullish order block we will not call it an order block it is simply our breaker block this time around it is simply our breaker block so from this level we don't want to call it an order block again we want to call it a breaker block okay so whenever you have this happening on a chart that is you see something like this for pattern traders you're going to see it like a head and shoulder but this time around the shoulders are not equal you have seen this last bearish candle that the smart money you know gathered their order here and push up and broke above this level this is simply a break of structure coming back it couldn't hold price price actually violated it to the downside coming back to this level this is where we want to see our sales happening we want to start selling from this level but we don't just sell blindly i'm going to show you a technique i use for selling this is a bearish breaker block because we are going bearish for a bullish breaker block it's pretty much the same thing but this time around let me show you how it works is something like this okay and then price pushes below it and then came back and push completely come back and respected this level before going to the upside so at this level we can see that this bearish order block that was supposed to hold price could not hold price again price actually violated it and then it starts going up to the upside so i'm going to show you how to spot it on a live chart so you will be able to trade with this type of information so coming back to our chart this is a practical example i'm going to show you a lot of this literally on a chart so i'm seeing one right here look at this that is happening here um price pushes up to this level okay and then we had a pullback to this level and another push to the upside okay to this level um, we had a break of structure here at this level um i'm going to just place it right here at this level instead of coming back because this is now our other block a bullish other block normally when we see this we want to see price react around this level before we take the buy when you're marking an other block you want to see that you map everything so normally when price comes back or retraces to this side, assuming this did not play out, if price come back to this level, we want to take the buy again. But price actually violated this other block. It completely traded through it. And then it is now coming back to retest our breaker block. Notice how the bodies of these candles actually close inside this breaker block. This time around, it is a bearish breaker block. Remember that our sketch, something like this, with a retracement and a sudden impulse swing up we have something coming back again and then we see something like this okay and we see a push down again 
So when we see this happening, we literally could say that this is now our breaker block because this pattern repeats itself over and over and over again. So this is it. You can see it is actually one of my best smart money concept. I use this for trade entries almost every day. So this is where we take our trade, but we don't just take trades blindly. Let me show you the technique I use for taking trade with this kind of information. Whenever I see this kind of information, now assuming this is spotted in the four hour time frame, I want to go down to at least one hour time frame below and then look for an entry. So once you spot this, you drop down to the lower time frame before you can take your trade. That means from four hour, we want to drop down to one hour time frame. I'll go to the one hour time frame. Now, if you drop down to the one hour time frame, this is exactly how you're going to see it. So you should know that this is where your breaker block is in the four hour. And then this is the one hour time frame. And this is the retracement so far. It is coming up. You're going to see it. Now, remember, you are bearish in this regard. But this little retracement in the one hour time frame is actually a bullish movement because you can literally see break of structure here. You have a higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. So we want to see a complete change of character in the lower time frame. That is a shift in market structure. We want to see an alignment with the direction of the four hour time frame because this is a bearish breaker block. Remember, we want to go bearish. So all this one from this level to this level is an uptrend. But at this point, we can literally see a change of character at this level. That is a complete shift in market structure. From this level, we know that our four hour time frame is bearish and then our one hour time frame is also bearish. So this is an alignment between the two time frames. And then we can literally take our trade in the next push up again. So this is when we can enter trade. If we take liquidity below this level, we can see a change of character retracing back to this level. We look for either an order block or the same breaker block. This is an order block in this regard. You can see this. A bearish order block so once price reaches this level is our time to start taking our entry and then your stop loss will always be above the breaker block from the four hour time frame in this regard or you can take it from this level you can see this is where your stop loss is okay so make sure you carefully and patiently wait for this to happen this will take time before it sets up but whenever this kind of setup happens you can confidently take trades without any challenge you can do this on crypto you can do it in forex you can do it in stocks any financial asset that you're trading you can literally do this so coming back to our four hour time frame we can go back and see so you can see this is actually where we entered our trade remember that our other block so from there you can see how price played out look at what is happening now there is something that just happened right now let me show you how that is happening let me adjust this this is an entire bullish breaker block look at it price came to this level okay and then had this kind of uh, sign and then it broke below this is a bullish breaker block in this regard and then we had a push up to the upside completely so let me adjust it so you can see properly so you can literally see it now now this is our symbol and we want to see price come back where is our breaker block now let me delete everything so you can see this is our breaker block this time around you may eventually get stopped out it's fine it's not every time that these things work so it's not every time that this kind of entry gives you the best or it works for you you can see a lot of them on a chart let me show you another one that happened right here look at this this is this is not a breaker block this is actually a mitigation block i'm going to make a different video about that so you would be able to see how it works so you can spot a lot of them over and over and over and over again so your assignment to is actually go to your chart and find breaker blocks look at this movement the entire movement to that side coming back to this side and then having a break above this level it came crashing to this side and then it push again to the upside look at it the last bearish candle is our breaker block this entire candle is our breaker block so we want to see price come back to that level 
and it actually did came back to this level so our trade entry will be in the lower time frame you have to go to the lower time frame and find an entry you need to see that this little retracement in the lower time frame is actually an uptrend you want to see a change of character that is a complete shift from this movement before you can take the sell you can literally see this on almost every chart every single day if you find value in this particular information i just shared with you you can actually give this video a like make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel anything you want me to cover go ahead and ask me i'm going to make a different video on how to use mitigation block for trade entry these are mitigation blocks you can see a lot of them um i've learned to train my eyes on how to use these things this is a breaker block you can see it is not only the body that should break above even the tail you can use it this is how i use my own there are people that have their own different conception about the smart money concept but you work with what works for you the best you have a refreshment we crash below it and then price came back to let me show you the last bearish candle that printed this guy this guy is our breaker block okay because we had this a little movement below it so we can call it a breaker block and look at notice how the bodies of the candle we don't want to see the body of the candle closing above the breaker block okay we want to see them closing inside even though the tail can go outside we want to see them closing inside and then we can take out rates from this so guys this is all about this video i'm going to stop here i'll make more videos on the smart money concept if you're trading crypto you're going to really enjoy this concept because these are literally crypto charts that you can use for this trade entry thank you guys for watching see you next time